What's gone really well for us here in the U.S. and around the world uh, in the last 90 days, but really in the last year, has been leasing. Leasing has been really strong. Our corporate outsourcing, global workplace solutions business has been strong. Good growth in both those businesses. A lot of that, Tyler, is being driven by the fact that occupiers are more and more focused on using space as a tool in the war for talent to attract, retain, and make talent more effective, efficient, and motivated. That's been a really positive thing for our business. Take me over to Asia. What are you seeing there, and specifically uh, in China, where you have some presence, and how would you see a trade um, tangle affecting that business? Our business in China is providing services within China increasingly to Chinese companies. Mm -hmm. The fact of the matter is, over the last year, on a trailing 12-month basis, when you look at the 12 geographic divisions we have in our services business, one of them being North Asia that includes Japan, China, Taiwan, and Hong Kong, on a profits basis, that's been the fastest growing of our businesses because, again, we're focused on providing services to companies in those countries, to companies in China, not trading goods in and out of China. Of course, we watch that closely and we're concerned if the trade circumstance has an impact on the economy overall, that could put pressure on us. But right now, we haven't really seen an impact. Well, I want to and ask a, those, uh, go ahead. I'm sorry, finish your thought. I'm so sorry. And, and those countries, as we've talked about before, make up only about uh, two, one or two percent of our profits, so they're not a big driver. But things have gone well there for us. I'm going to ask a question out of total ignorance, which I do exceedingly well, uh, uh, and that is this. How has the market for companies that are sort of office share uh, enterprises, whether it's WeWork or others, how's that changed what you do, and how does it, how does it fit into your business model? Well, there's two things that go on with WeWork and the other uh, co-working flex space companies. Number one, they do provide flexible lease solutions to companies and other occupiers. Number two, they provide an experience, a different experience. Uh, as I commented a minute ago, the whole experience trend, the importance of experience to office occupiers has been a big driver for our business. We manage office space around the world with nine million people in it. The opportunity to provide experience services to those people, to those clients, has been huge for our company. And it's been a big driver of this um, co-working yeah, phenomenon. Yeah. Co-working has been a, a big mover. Well, that was it. Was kind of what your, your earlier answer put that thought into my head that, that that maybe that's one of the experiences that you, that you're pointing at. And when you when you emphasize experiences in in office space, what are you talking about there? What what are those differentiators that you provide or that you're being asked to provide today that you might not have provided or been asked to 15, 20 years ago? The start with the design of the space. It's mm -hmm. typically open office, right. a multiple of different types of use, um, a lot of light in the space, um, address uh, free, uh, wireless, paperless, uh, activity oriented, uh, technology supported to get out amenities. Um, it's a very different experience. The best thing that uh, you might think about, Tyler, that people often compare it to would be going into a Starbucks and having office space that has that feel. Um, and people, uh, people are really attracted to that.